Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. On tonight's bulletin, women demonstrate against late night arrests. Only spirit mediums can end drought, says a Modare villager. An apostolic music group releases a new album. And Zimbabwe's rugby champions return home. Women tired of being arrested wrongly on the grounds of prostitution have petitioned the Ministry of Home Affairs to end police harassment. Robert Tafumane gives us the story. A group of women staged a demonstration in Harare's Africa Unit Square on Tuesday to protest against the harassment of women by police, accusing them of loitering for purposes of prostitution. For some years, police have been running an operation called Chipochirorwa, aimed at flushing out commercial sex workers who prowl the streets at night. However, some women say the law is a violation of their rights and are now afraid to move at night for fear of being arrested. The fact that as a woman I do not have the right to freedom. The only crime I committed on all the encounters that I was arrested was the fact that I was a woman at night after a certain hour that is perceived to be um, a time that only men can be out. Renowned filmmaker Sisi Dangarembwa, who also participated in the demonstration, said they will send a petition to the relevant ministry to stop the arrests. We hope to send a petition to the Commissioner of Police and also to the Co-Ministers of Home Affairs telling them that these arrests are going on and that they are illegal and that they are infringing Zimbabwean women's right to freedom of movement. His sentiments were echoed by another demonstrator who questioned the legality of the arrests. They arrest us on reasonable suspicion. That's one of our cases. Who defines reasonable suspicion? Because right now when you see me with Robert, when you see me with other, any other male, I'm being arrested. If I'm harboring a criminal, why aren't they arresting the criminal I'm harboring? They arrest only the woman and leave the men. However, police spokesperson Inspector James Sabau insisted the operation is justified. To solicit, you rarely see a woman standing, a man standing by a tree along a street or a man standing by a, a building just putting on a pen. I, I, I think we haven't seen that. We are yet to see that. But we have arrested some women for, uh, some men for uh, engaging in prostitution where one would have been arrested at a lot, uh, at a certain place that is known for, like brothels. We have arrested some men for that. Although in some Western countries prostitution is a multi-billion dollar industry, in Zimbabwe, it remains illegal and those caught practicing it are fined. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. A Mutare villager whose grandfather was a rainmaker believes that only the spirit mediums have the power to end drought in the country. Andrew Mambondiani gives us the story. Put the resettlement scheme in Mutare has not been spared from persistent droughts that have been ravaging most parts of Zimbabwe. While some experts have suggested scientific solutions to the problem, an 80-year-old villager says the answer lies with the spirit mediums. Nekias Quindiza, who lived with his grandfather who was a rainmaker about 60 years ago, said spirit mediums used to bring rainfall in times of droughts. He lashed out at traditional leaders for failing to uphold traditional beliefs. Mazishi 
raiwa ndiro rusiki rugure jindwirese avasi kuri tsvaka vaifana kutsvaka madzishe mambo wese unonga agara haasi kutsvaka kuti azive kuti nyika yake <hesitation> iri kuoma nge ida mudzigori kumadzishe irora with recurrent droughts some farmers in pudzi have since switched from maize to tobacco farming ndakanga ndichiri mashibage ndaitora almost six months ndichishandira shibage but ndaende ku harvest three buckets izvi zvichitobva ndari mafodya mumbeu yekungokumbirawo apo neapo neapo ndaka manager kuchitengesa inini ndikaona 2400 dollars ma 5 6 7 to 8 tons dzemagwere hazvichaiti bakwatidi chi chiri mwachete ngaite ndopetaka zochinja isusu wana wao kwa uchitanga kupinda muchiri mwachei chefodya ichi chinenge ichienderana nemvura iriko yezvi nezvi in the olden days traditionalists used to conduct rain making ceremonies but with westernization such practices have since been eroded reporting for ATV in Mutare Zimbabwe Three months after releasing their debut album, Sangano Yayowova, an apostolic music group, have released another album that is gaining popularity in the music industry. Mutane Dachimuga reports. Shure memwezi mitatu apo chikwata cheva apostoli che Sangano Yayowova chava mukubwera damba refu rechitendero. Chikwata ichi chakabura rimweje damba refu mwezi uno. Rinova riri kufarirwa neveruzhi njini. Muna April. Taka buri sadamba refure dure kutanga rakanzi tenda ibaba asi nekuda kwe kufarirwa nekuga mushiro kataka itwa newanu munyika nokubva wa request ya futi rimwe zvanze hakumadi ukurumenza kuti buri sirawo futi rimwe ndobva taburisa rimwe muna mei muno eh rakanzi kufamba nemwe Mukuru wechi kwata ichi akati, varu kutari sira kuzoi sanziyo za wamo ma video mungu wafu piri kutewe ramu. Tinetari sira kuti pamwezi miri kutewe, tinengeta ne ma videos. Nekuti wanundosho waru ukumbiri soo futi kuti, tu ukumbiri soo kuti daima titiro futi ma video, tambu wana uti murugu kwansa ku improve osho kaita se. Mungueva imbi ava, anu tana ngura zuko nzero za kaita kutewa bure dambarefu iri. Rataka buri sape kutanga raka fari wale wale. Saka ataka kwa nsa kutenge sama diska katu wandezu kutita ya kwa nsa kuwa na mari. Ya ataka guna kuchinge teza kutiti guna usenda kustitu kuna sikisari mwesewa. So wano wa hitu kuruzira kutiti eta unza ringerachu. Chipanga mazano wenchi kwa ta echi ano duzira zimweze zimbo ziri mudamba refu iri. Damba refu hapa pani nziyo nukwa na kuita hizo six. Panziyo ziripo pano sangano serenzu kufamba no mwea. Pakufamba no mwe ya ndi nota risira kuti wano kana vachinge vachifamba vachita zunusha wano ita. Wano fanda kuzita zuri munyasha mwe ya wamari. Shakadai chikwata ishi churuku sanga na ni matambu ziku wakawanda mubasare kuimba iri. Simwe mguwa tinenge itichi imba. Kune wamwe wanengu wajifari rachi postori. Kune wamwe wanengu wachinga wajifari iri. Wamwe wano toti ipaepa na hapa mwuti itira noezi. Pamuru kita atichombo zidi muno mutao ndendea mde mbira uko. Ozaita kana chita utoru wama interviews yedu jimungu wa tino ufungo wa tino toreru wa zogaita seku wa rare gardens Tino kuna onzi badarai mari Hapa tine kiti sina mari za ajo zogu badarai momu Saka ndemangu matambo zika tino sanga ya nao Mutewe zeri we mtunga miriri wechi kwa ta iji akatenda ruti guru wa varku wana kufakune veru shinjim Dini mtoru we na uwe ATV diri muarare simpapwe for the first time in 12 years, Zimbabwe has won its first Rugby Africa Championship title after trouncing Uganda. The team returned home last night to a hero's welcome. Robert Tafumane reports. Zimbabwe's national rugby team that won the Africa Cup title after beating Uganda 22-18 in Tunisia last Saturday returned home last night with their trophy. ATV caught up with the jubilant Sebo at the Harare International Airport soon after arrival. 
We just played as a team, you know, the, the backs and forwards combined very, very well. And everything was perfect, um, you know, and uh, the backs were outstanding. Um, the, and the forwards were up to the task, and our defence was phenomenal. Yeah. Our defence patterns and our defence was, was excellent. The men of the match title went to Linian Stambera, who kicked 17 points and six penalties in his debut match. I was so eager to represent my country, so I had to give it all I had. Well, to the answers, uh, I just recommend that. They put all the hard work that they have and put good in everything they do. Things will work out for them. The team's captain, Kosa Dina, said the Sabos will continue to work hard to maintain the title. The triumphant Sabos have now moved from number 31 to 29 in the world rankings following their crowning as Africa's champions. In spite of their victory, the Sabos arrived home to a low-key welcome by a handful of fans and family who cheered for the rugby heroes. Reporting for ATV, Robert Afmani, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.